As anyone who's ever had the pleasure of being someone's birth companion can tell you, it's not a pretty story. As we discovered in the last episode, the same is true of the birth of plastics. But much like the proverbial car crash, I want to look at this in more detail. By really understanding the chemistry of plastics, we can really understand the issues and the opportunities. So hold on to your hats. It's science time. Plastics are made from fossil fuels, crude oil, and natural gas. Fossil fuels are made up of hydrocarbons. A hydrocarbon is a molecule made up of hydrogen atoms, the stuff burning in the sun, and carbon, the sea, in CO2. All living things, or organic matter, are hydrocarbon-based. Bit of a coincidence that oil is made up of the same stuff as all living things on Earth? No, oil is the remains of all now no longer living things. Plants, animals, dinosaurs, which I know are an animal. That's why we call them fossil fuels. Time for a spot of chemistry. Let's look at a hydrocarbon molecule. This is methane. Yep, farts. Though actually, methane is only 7% of a fart. Methane is the simplest hydrocarbon. It's just one carbon atom bonded to four hydrogen atoms. In natural gas and crude oil, you get a mix of different size hydrocarbons, like methane, ethane, two carbon atoms in a chain, propane, three, butane, four, and up and up. The short chain molecules are light, they make up natural gas, and as they get longer, they exist as crude oil. So how does this all relate to plastic? Well, a plastic is also a hydrocarbon, but it's not made up of short chains like this. It's made up of really long chains, like this. This is actually about 500 times shorter than the average plastic molecule, but I used up my whole modeling kit, so. And where do these long chains come from? We make them. This is ethene. It has two carbon atoms, but ethene is special because the carbons are held together by a double atomic bond. Now, before you freak out, atomic bond is just chemistry speak for holding hands. The two atoms are holding two hands with each other, and ethene is the building block for one of the simplest and most common plastics. Fun fact, ethene is actually the gas that bananas produce that makes all the other fruit in your fruit bowl overripen before you even get a chance to eat it. However, we're going to need lots of it, so bananas aren't gonna cut it. And anyway, we need those for smoothies. Mmm, smoothie. from all those hydrocarbons in gas and oil. And how does this little ethene molecule with its double bond become a plastic molecule? To demonstrate this properly, I'm gonna need some help from the rest of my team. Come on, everyone. So, each of them represents a carbon molecule. And if they hold hands like this, then they represent ethene, two carbons with a double bond. First thing we need to do is break one of those bonds. Now, each of them has a spare hand and they're flailing around looking for someone, anyone to take hands with. So what do they do? They take hands with each other. And so what started as lots of small molecules now becomes one long molecule. Can we go now? All right. This process is called polymerization. It's a man-made chemical reaction. Lots of little building blocks, monomers, mono, one, are formed into one long polymer, poly, many. The monomer here was ethene, and so the polymer is called polyethene, polythene. Think of all the plastic names you know. Polythene, polyester, polystyrene, PVC, poly, vinyl, chloride, they all start with poly. And the bit afterwards tells us what monomer these new polymers were made from. So now we have our long chain polymers. And it's these long chains that gives plastic its plastic properties. Zoom out a little. Figuratively. Thank you. 
Imagine this long chain molecule is this single strand of cooked spaghetti. Then the plastic material is this bowl of spaghetti made up of lots of long strands. It's pliable and malleable. It can be bent and it doesn't break. It's plastic. So there we have it. That was a chemistry overload, I know. But understanding that plastics are made from long chain polymers and what the bonds are that keep them together is really important because the chemical structure of plastic polymers gives them their functionality. But it's also the real reason that they won't break down. The next episode will be much lighter, I promise. We're going to talk about death. and it doesn't break. It's plastic. This is disgusting. <laughs> <laughs>